Well, aloha, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Very happy to be connecting with you today. My name is Paul Fletcher, and I am a master teacher certified by the Tao Academy. And today I'll be talking about a subject that I'm, of course, learning more about. Uh, it's called Tao Science, Tao spelled T-A-O. And uh, specifically, we're going to be talking about the power of energy and matter. <clears throat> and this subject matter is something that I have a, a reasonable understanding of, but I'll be working right out of a, right out of a Tao Science book. Uh, this new book came out. It's called Tao Science, um, The Science, Wisdom, and Practice of Creation and Grand Unification. <clears throat> it was not written by me. Ha ha. It was written by uh, Dr. and Master Shah and Dr. and Master Rulin Shu. And these, uh, these two souls are very knowledgeable in this field. Uh, but it's something where I need to learn more of. And so in reading it to you, and in uh, sharing with you the insights, then we both get to learn from it. Because it's been task, it's been asked of us uh, by Master Shah uh, as master teachers in his organization to learn the verbiage and the way Tao science uh, communicates the wisdom of the Tao. Now, for those of you that are um, new and unfamiliar, the Tao is another word that represents the source, uh, the source of all creation. <clears throat> uh, the reason Tao science is being used as a modality or medium for communicating is because you know people have a need to understand people have a need to know what is the meaning of life what is the the reason for things explain it to me in a way that is not too woo woo and so Tao science does a wonderful job of that breaking down everything to information energy and matter and so uh, I will do my best to break it down to you in a way where it's uh, easily and readily understandable as well. So the, as indicated, this book, Tao Science, just came out not too long ago. It's up to you if you want to get it. I'm not, uh, not pushing the book, just pointing it out to you that that's the one I'm reading from. <coughs> Excuse me. It is a, uh, actually, uh, it's the second that Dr. Masterilin has written. And, and I think it's much better than the first, simply because it's a lot more um, uh, not as uh, uh, scientific, <laughs> I guess is the best way to put it. And it's, it's a lot more practical, uh, where the wisdom can be applied. So welcome Shakira, welcome Odelia, thank you for sharing. Welcome Sharon, Kristen Rojas, welcome uh, Joy and Sean, welcome Rosetta, and welcome Angela Diacomo. Thank you for clicking on the share button, letting other people know about today's live stream on the power of energy and matter. Now. <clears throat> One of the unique aspects of working with um, the Tao, working with the source field, because that's what the Tao is. It is, you know, it's the source. It's the source field of both positive and energy and matter, uh, positive and negative energy and matter. Uh, yin and yang, some people might see it as cause and effect. There's a lot of different ways that it can be looked at. <clears throat> In science, Everything is looked at under the microscope, so to speak. If you can't explain it in science, then it must not exist. And this, again, is the value of Tao science because it works with the comprehension that um, uh, everything has to be validated mathematically, so to speak. And the beautiful thing about Dr. and uh, uh, Master Rulin Shu is uh, as a one who has a doctorate in physics, she is quite knowledgeable and can explain spiritual wisdom and spiritual aspects in uh, mathematical form for all those that have to have that for proof but she can also explain it <clears throat> in information energy and matter in the basic forms you and I can understand it in so uh, that'll be fabulous welcome Luna welcome NNC Aloha Carrie Eisenhower so let us go ahead and connect as we always do each and every live stream to um, to join heart to heart, soul to soul, because even though we're talking about something that is related to message, energy, and matters, related to science, this is still a spiritual teaching course. So we must all connect spiritually. So let us connect. 
For those that are new, we are going to connect to the Song of Love, Peace and Harmony, which is a mantra. It has been translated into over 40 languages, and it's a, a blessing for those that uh, are unfamiliar with it. So you can choose to receive the blessing, make a request, or you can choose to um, join in. So dear the Song of Love, Peace, Harmony, love you and appreciate you. Please radiate your blessings to all those on the line and bring us into oneness, heart to heart, soul to soul. We will chant in heart language, soul language, Mandarin Chinese, and then English, and then I will move into the wisdom teachings today. Welcome Gregory, welcome Janelle. Lu la lu la li Lu la lu la la li Lu la lu la li lu la Lu la li lu la Lu la li lu la Wo ai wo xian er ling Wo ai zuan an lei ang rong er mu shi sheng xiang ai ping on er xie xiang ai ping on er xie I love my heart and soul I love all humanity join hearts and souls together and love peace and harmony and love peace and harmony ah <clears throat> can you read what that says right there is it backwards in your uh, video it says Tao science I got that from Master Lin. So anyway, this is the book I'm working out. It was called Tao Science, the second book. Uh, Tao Science, the Science, Wisdom, and Practice of Creation and Grand Unification. Welcome, Mary Miller. Aloha, Maria Dijon. Welcome, Mark. Aloha. Uh, Luna Luna. Welcome, Gregory and Janelle. Tony Teller. Doni. Donny Teller. Welcome, Dakota. Welcome, Jamie Varga. Welcome, Monica Foss. Uh, Suzanne Manifold. And if I missed your name, forgive me. Welcome. Thank you for your presence. <clears throat> so, today, the power of energy and matter. So, I'm going to read some excerpts from here and then expand on a little bit so that we can ground it into our physical life. We are all familiar with our physical reality, chapter 6. Matter makes up our physical reality. Make sense? We also know energy is essential for us to get things done. So we need both energy and matter. Matter creates our physical life. Energy helps us get things done. Many people strive to accumulate energy and matter to have a comfortable life. Money is matter, right? A job is matter. So we strive to have both. In Tao science, energy and matter have a deeper meaning and function. Energy is the actioner to enable action. Energy enables action. Very important to remember that. Matter is the transformer to achieve what we came into this world to accomplish. So energy puts forth the action. The matter is the representation of that action. <clears throat> the energy to dig a hole, the result is the, the dirt is outside the hole and there's a space empty ready for something to go into the hole. That's the result. We need energy, creates the matter. Energy is the actioner. Matter is the transformer. It is what is transformed as a result of the movement of the energy. Got it? The purpose and function of life. The purpose and function of life is to enhance connection and order, which is positive information. This is a very important sentence because you're going to hear three words again and again and again. Information, energy, matter. Information, energy, matter. So listen to this sentence again. The purpose and function of life is to enhance, make better, improve connection and the order of our lives. The purpose of our life is to make it better and make it more orderly and worthwhile, right? And this is called positive information in a scientific perspective. Increasing the positive information 
within us will boost the power of our souls, hearts, and minds. It will uplift every aspect of our life. Increasing the positive information in others will boost the power of their souls, hearts, and minds, and bodies. It will uplift their life. Our energy and matter, which is our actioner and transformer, should serve this purpose. Okay? What's a different way of putting that? Master Shah says, <clears throat> serve others. Make others happier and healthier. You'll be happier and healthier. What does Tao science say? It says, use your energy to create a good and positive material benefit in this 3D world. Do it for others and your world will be positively blessed. Same thing, but instead of it being a spiritual statement, a woo-woo statement, we're using information, energy, and matter terminology. Got it? Welcome, Renu. Welcome, Kristen. The purpose of life is to accumulate positive information to serve and transform negative information. Who wants to hold on to negative information, right? Nobody. Of course we want to transform it. Welcome, Missy. Welcome, Karina. <clears throat> our energy and matter, our act actioner and transformer should serve this purpose. Attaching to the physical reality and materialistic gain will not only limit your success, but potentially it will limit your life. And it will actually waste your precious time here on earth by preventing you from achieving your true life purpose. Isn't that interesting? So by wasting your energy, wasting your matter, by, by having selfish thoughts, words, and actions, by um, having attachment to physicalness, physical reality, attachment to material gain, we're wasting our purpose for being here. Energy and matter can be divided. Get it? Here, here's the most important statement. Into positive and negative energy and matter. Oh, how simple. Positive energy and positive matter can lead to love, joy, wisdom, health, happiness, longevity, growth, upliftment, abundance, and enlightenment. Negative energy and negative matter can lead to sickness, pain, suffering, disasters, challenges. So, what is the reason, everybody? What is the reason people have sickness? What is the reason people have relationship challenges? What is the reason people have financial and business challenges? What is the reason people have challenges in their spiritual journey and in every aspect of life? In one sentence, N positive, negative, Shen Qi and Jing. In Tao science, the negative energy and matter. So how to transform these challenges in one sentence? Transform negative Shen Qi Jing to positive Shen, Qi, and Jing. In Tao science, transform negative information, energy, and matter into positive information, energy, and matter. Welcome, Rindal Hayes. Welcome, Lawrence Moody. <clears throat> In physics, energy can be both positive and negative. Positive energy makes actions such as moving objects possible. A positive energy, you can then move something physically. Energy starts prior to the actual movement. Negative energy stops actions and gets things stuck. <clears throat> For example, adding gasoline to your car can generate positive energy, which will make your car run longer. Gravity being the force of attraction, can generate negative energy, which keeps your car earthbound. Your car cannot fly into space because of the negative energy created by gravity. 
It takes positive energy, for example, in the form of a rocket to overcome negative energy and propel your car into space. In Tao science, energy is the actioner which makes actions happen. There are also two kinds of action, positive action and negative action. Positive action is action that increases positive information. I'll repeat, positive action is, uh, is action that increases positive information. Tao science says this information, energy, and matter. Why is the information important? Let's put this into some practical terms instead of too heavy in the scientific part. Information is a message. Who's the message for? It's for our life, for our soul. If we say, I love you, God, is that information? Yes. Is that a message? Yes. Is it positive? Yes. So if we say, I love you, God, I thank you, God. I'm so grateful for what you do for me. I love you, Buddha. I love you, Krishna. I love you, uh, Jesus. Those are positive actions, right? So they will create positive, uh, positive uh, matter as a result. How does it create positive matter? Because of cause and effect, laws of the universe. So by putting forth positive information, in our thoughts, in our words, in our actions, then positive matter is the natural result. In Tao science, there are two kinds, positive and negative. Positive action is the action that increases positive information. Negative action is the action that increases negative information. In addition to the normal positive energy and negative energy in physics, there exists another type of positive energy and negative energy in Tao science, namely, that energy that enables positive action and energy that enables negative action, we call this type absolute positive energy and absolute negative energy. Respectfully, in contrast, we call the different types of positive energy and negative energy recognized relative. So absolute in both ways, absolute and positive, yields absolute health, rejuvenation, longevity, joy, success, wisdom, harmony, and power. Absolute negative yields disorder, uncertainty, disconnection, pain, suffering, death. Which one you guys want? Hmm. Money is a kind of energy. If we obtain money, what is money? Is money energy or is money matter? Money is a kind of energy. If we obtain money through offering good service, that enhances positive information, because we're doing good service, right? It enhances positive information, then the money will carry absolute positive energy. It will bring us joy, love, prosperity, wisdom, power, and more. If we obtain money through negative actions, such as cheating, lying, stealing, taking advantage of others, then money will carry a negative energy. It will bring us sickness, health issues. It could bring us sadness, suffering, broken relationships, financial challenges. How was the money acquired? What is the positive or negative actioner behind it that created the matter conditions? The energy of matter carried the message. Was it a positive message or a negative message? Be aware of the kind of energy that you are accumulating. I love that word. Be aware of what you are accumulating. Side note, so yesterday I'm uh, driving my vehicle, I'm doing some errands, and I'm listening to some wisdom and teachings, uh, Master Shah, and he's talking about be very careful for your soul journey, his direct teachings. He's saying, you know, really watch your soul journey. And then he went on to say, you know, when somebody does something, how is your reaction? Are you huffy? Do you take it personally? Do you respond like the Buddha would? And then he gave example. And his example, many of you may have heard this, but his example is um, uh, uh, old, in the old times, a young woman got pregnant. And, the, and in those times, you know, that just doesn't happen, right? You, you go through a long series of courtship and then, then get married and then have a baby. 
So it was very, very shocking to the parents. And um, they said, who is the father? And the mother said, I can't, you know, uh, it's the monk. And this monk is very famous for thousands of miles. Everybody loved this monk. And so they go to the monk and they spit on him and they shove the baby in his face and say, this is your child, you know, you're, you're horrible, you're da 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 And the monk didn't say, I don't know what you're talking about. He wasn't rude. He said, hmm, okay, I understand. And he took the child in. And he took responsibility for the child. Now, monks in those days, they don't have money. They have to go and they beg. So people are spitting on the monk on the streets, things like that. He takes care of the baby anyway. And the daughter sees the monk every day getting cursed at, spit at, and everything else. And she feels very, very guilty. And eventually she tells the parents the truth. It was the, uh, the guy at the fish market, right? So they go and they go to the monk and they bow down and they apologize and ask forgiveness. And the monk says, hmm, okay. I see how everything is. That's okay. And then he gives the baby back and he goes about his merry way. What's the point? Master Shah was teaching yesterday. Our response falls in line with our action and the matter of what we receive. He's saying, watch your spiritual journey. How do you react? How do you respond? How do you bring yourself to each and every event? I witnessed some of the top uh, uh, ma master teachers in Master Shah's organization, one of them being Master uh, Henderson, and I tell you, I ask his soul to come to, to serve me, to guide me, because I have witnessed, I have witnessed huge mess, huge things that would cause me to just blow up. And he's, he just says, hmm, I guess we need more love to solve this. It's a very pure and simple, open-hearted response. So what is the, the bigger message here in tying it into the Tao science? Tao science says, be responsible. Because your actioner, your energy, creates the matter, your living conditions. If I respond negatively, which I have, far, far too much. If I react and go, hmm, I can't believe that happened. Even that is really creating a, uh, a negative message, negative information, which then is not going to help my future. Right? Uh, what are the different ways of saying this? See no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil, think no evil. Cause and effect. We have heard this so many different ways. This is the Tao science way of stating it. So money is a kind of energy, and if we obtain money through offering good service, we enhance the positive information. If we do it through negative, we enhance the negative information. Kind of common sense, right? Be aware of the energy you are accumulating. This is critical for bringing success to every aspect of your life. If you are doing all the right things that you think, you're, you're, you're doing your forgiveness practices, you're, um, you're uh, uh, helping others, you're chanting, right? Playing love, peace, and harmony, but things still aren't going good in your life, pay attention to your thoughts. How often are you complaining? This is one of my biggest areas of cleanup. My, my complaining is ridiculous. I catch myself far too much. Um, Got to change it. How often are you complaining, right? Complaining is one of the biggest negative informations. How can the actioner of good finances bless you and benefit you by bringing you good information if we stay in a negative space such as complaining, such as not trusting okay well i did my chanting and i still have nothing it didn't work you know why did this person do this to me master shah gave a very high level teaching to his top teachers and the essence of it was if somebody is doing something to you at you if they do doesn't matter how wrong it might be he said it's not their problem it's your problem wow that's a hard teaching right what do you mean it's my problem? This person literally just pulled up in front of me, almost took my life, and it's my problem? This person came out of nowhere started getting belligerent with me, and it's my problem? Ugh, that's a tough one to swallow, right? But it's the highest level teaching. Why? Because we, you and I, are responsible for our energy and matter. Do you get it? How do we react? How do we respond? That's what he meant with the teaching. Bao Yuan Shou Yi. 
What does that mean? Oneness. That's one word. Oneness. Am I on oneness when I'm indefensive to that person that was belligerent? Am I on oneness when I am not offering them a kind and loving smile in return, like the Buddha would do? The answer is no. So why is the hard teaching from the Master come down that it's not their problem, it's our problem? Because we, you, I, we are responsible for our soul experience. We are, we're, we're responsible for our energy and matter, the right here and the right now. Because the right here and the right now, guess what it affects? It affects your future. More negative information? Or they shouldn't have done that to me, blah, 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 blah. What's that going to do to my future? What's it going to do to your future? We are responsible. And as difficult as that might be to swallow, science doesn't care because it can be validated now by math, by science, factually math validated that cause and effect really work. That what you place your focus on is exactly what shows up in front of your physical eye and is exactly what shows up in your physical world. What you focus on literally scientifically can be validated. That's what shows up in your world. What do you want to focus on? There is absolute positive. There is absolute negative. Where is your focus? Not so easy being responsible, is it? But we have to because we are creating our world. So in summary, relative positive energy brings mobility and greater freedom. Relative negative energy brings restriction and makes one stuck. Absolute positive energy creates positive action, which brings connection and order. And it enhances more and more positive information. Excuse me. Absolute negative energy generates negative action, which brings disconnection, disorder. Who wants more disconnection? Who wants more disorder? You have control over it. The key is consistently positive. I tell you, it's not easy. Consistently positive response. You know, I'm supposed to be this master teacher, but I am one big walking uh, uh, mess when it comes to how life brings itself to me. It's not easy to always respond like a beautiful, happy Buddha. It's not. Okay? Always trying to be there for the client. Always trying to be there for, for my car mechanic that tells me it'll cost me $2,000 to fix the car and smiling and saying, okay, I trust heaven will deliver the financial blessings. Doesn't matter how life brings itself to you, we have a choice. Do we respond positively? Do we respond negatively? The response actions and brings forth the matter of our future. Which response is going to be better for us? No one's going to do it for you. Right? So this is what is meant by the highest teachings. Jesus says, turn the other cheek. Somebody's going bah, 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 at you. Dear Jesus, could you come to sit in my heart center? Bless me to smile at this soul. Give them love. Not take it personally. Realize that for whatever reason, they're yelling at me. But I don't wish to cause negative information in my world. I wish to bring positive information in my world. Thank you for sending in my heart, Jesus, and helping me to be kind and courteous to this person that's bringing negative energy into my world. You could supplement the word, substitute the word Jesus with Buddha. Dear Buddha, come sit in my heart. Or Krishna, whoever you believe. Okay, don't get stuck. Don't square your head around what words I use. Apply whatever works for you. But ask for support. You know, it's not always easy to... Re uh, sometimes, I would say, probably 60 or 70% of the time, for me, it's after the fact. I've already responded or reacted inappropriately, not in the highest and best way. It's just because stuff comes out of the blue when you least expect it, right? And then, wow, the automatic response comes out. Okay, it's done. But... I have a responsibility to change the matter from the energy that I was just created. I have a responsibility to say, forgive me. I'm sorry. 
I deeply regret this auto response. I will become more conscious and do better. Please forgive me. We, you know, you're going to probably have to catch yourself like I am catching myself for one, two, three, five years. But is it worth it? In the end, is it worth it to be able to only react and respond two out of ten times instead of seven out of ten times? Because you became more and more and more conscious. Because you moved yourself to see no evil, speak no evil, hear no evil, think no evil. Do not react. Become loving. Turn the other cheek. Right, applying the great wisdom that the saints have given us, maybe not so easy in these lives and times when we're surrounded by stress, by all these external money condition things, by our health condition issues, by the boyfriends, the girlfriends, the husbands, the wives. Uh, you know the the things that come out of nowhere. Yesterday, um, I was in the other room, and and water was all over the floor. It had been running for ten minutes. Okay. This one I did good with. I didn't react in negatively. Because I had had that conversation with myself like the earlier in the day. But probably other times I wouldn't have done so well. How do we react to bring about the highest and best results for manifesting our future? Every day will give you at least 30 opportunities. So, in summary, when we recognize, as Tao Science is trying to teach us, that we are an accumulation. That was her exact words. We are. An accumulation of energy and matter, both positive and negative. From before this moment, positive and negative. The predominant amount is what's creating our future. So do you want your future to be more positive information or more negative information? And if some negative information comes into your future moment, if some person decides to put their negative energy in your face, you are the one that is responsible for your energy and matter. You are the one that is responsible for the reaction response. You are the one who is responsible because it's your future. I tell you how many uh, looping, my head loops. I had somebody uh, being upset with me because of a parking condition. Uh, I was in defense mode because I didn't think I was wrong. But you know what? It didn't matter. Their negative energy brought me into a negative information space. I didn't do well with it. I mean, I was kind for the first couple of minutes and I stayed kind actually, but I was irritated. So it still didn't help. Uh, I stayed kind. I didn't blow up. I didn't react. But afterwards, was my monkey mind defending myself? Yes. How do we improve those kinds of things? Forgive me. Please forgive my reaction, my response. Whatever I may have done that brought about these series of conditions, Thank you, heaven, for giving me this beautiful opportunity to become a better master teacher. Thank you, heaven, for giving me a beautiful opportunity to see this negative information can impact my world negatively. You know, how many times do you guys loop in your head after somebody says something negative to you? I would guess all of you. I don't think I'm unique. And so we have to be responsible because that's going to create more of our unpleasant future. Got it? All right. So let's do a practice. Sit up straight, bring your back away from the back of the chair. <clears throat> and we always connect with the soul world. We want to ask them to assist us. You can place your hands either in prayer position or in a different hand mudra, which is where the left hand drops in front of the heart center and the right hand remains pointed towards heaven. And we're going to connect with heaven. We're going to connect with our heaven's team. We're going to connect with the, our own soul. And we're going to do some adjustments to our energy and matter, okay? So close your eyes. And let us connect. Dear the Divine, my beloved Creator, the Tao, the Source, dear all of the beings of light who have been with me this entire life, serving my soul journey, my Heaven's team, guides, angels, and saints, my beloved soul, I love you, honor you, appreciate you. You guys should be re repeating. I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. Could you please be present? I would deeply, humbly, and sincerely appreciate your blessings today. Please bless me to release negative information, negative messages. Please bless me 
to be more awake and aware of my unpleasant reactions. Please bless me to be more aware of my automatic responses, my less than thought out negative responses. Please bless me to change my automatic responses, especially the negative ones, and shift into consciousness where I do not take things personally. Please bless me to be more loving and kind, more compassionate, more like the great beings of light that we know. I would be extremely honored and grateful for these blessings at this time. Thank you. And now we do a forgiveness. Dear all souls, all my family members, my loved ones, family and friends, all my co-workers, dear all souls of humanity, I know I have offered negative messages. I know I have complained. I have criticized, I have judged you and others. I know I have been very unpleasant in my thoughts, words, and actions in this life and very possibly other ones. I sincerely apologize all these unpleasant negative informations, negative energy, negative matter. I deeply apologize for pushing them into your world and causing your world to be filled with uncomfortableness, with things that are no, that are just not pleasant. I now recognize that a great deal of my negative information, negative uh, experiences could be a result of me being unpleasant towards others, offering complaining and criticalness and judgment and many, many other forms of unpleasant communication. And if I have brought these unpleasant communications to you from my heart, I sincerely apologize and ask your unconditional forgiveness. Please forgive me, heaven. Please forgive me, all of these beautiful souls. I wish to clean up my consciousness, my awareness. I wish to make better choices. I wish to no longer respond automatically, defensively. I wish to no longer respond from a place of self-righteousness. Please bless me, heaven, Tao, source, all the beings of light, to be more loving, kind, compassionate, patient, tolerant. Please bless me to be more kind to myself and not take things so personally. I would be deeply honored for these blessings. So we're going to chant divine love, divine light, divine forgiveness, just like that. <clears throat> we're going to see Divine's love, light, and forgiveness coming to us and clearing these negative information, negative messages from our heart centers. Divine love, divine light, divine forgiveness. Let us begin. Divine love, divine light, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness. Divine love, divine light, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness. And see your heart opening up, releasing all of those negative messages, all the judgments, criticisms, everything you've been holding on to, the anger towards those people that did this, this, and that to you. Just release it. Divine love, divine light, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine love, divine light, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness. 
divine love, divine light, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness. Send your love to all the family members that drive you crazy. Open your heart. Send your love to all the co-workers that are unpleasant. They gossip and they bring your negative energy down. Send your love and light to them and see yourself being kind, patient, and compassionate, forgiving around these family members, these co-workers, these, these people that have negative energy in their field. Choose not to allow your positive energy to be negatively impacted. Divine love, divine light, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine love, divine light, divine forgiveness, Divine forgiveness, <coughs> divine love, divine light, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine love, divine light. Divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine love. See God's love coming to you, divine love, divine light. It's just blasting away the negativity, leaving positive information, leaving positive messages, energy, and matter. You're getting filled up. Divine love. Divine light, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine love, divine light, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine love. Divine light, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine love, divine light, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness. Three more rounds. Divine love, divine light, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine love, divine light, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness. Divine love, divine light, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness, divine love, divine light, divine forgiveness, divine forgiveness now don't you feel lighter why we gave ourselves huge amounts of positive information so the scientific Tao science message is validated give yourself positive message action a positive result that manifests in the material form. Do all of these things for yourself and for others. And there's no reason your life cannot be more and more positive with each moment. Watch your thoughts, watch your words, watch your actions. If you catch yourself after the fact, change them. 
Do not allow others to poo-poo on your positivity and life should and will get better and better and better. And if something big comes to try to dampen your positivity, respond, ask Jesus, Buddha, God, whoever to come sit in your heart and respond from the highest, most positive way possible because that will mean that the future will be much easier to handle from whatever might come to you. Because whatever did come to you that might be filled with negativity, it came from something from your past where you were focused on quite a bit of that, either accidentally or on purpose. And it came to remind you, fabulous. Let's deal with it in a positive way and get it out of our life forever. The best way to do it, okay? So thank you to uh, Dr. Shah. Thank you to Dr. Rulin Shu for the Tao Science Wisdom. Thank you for heaven for borrowing my mouth to explain it in this way that allows people to apply it in their lives. And thank you all for coming and joining. Thank you for clicking on the share button to let other people know about today's live stream. I will be back Thursday, 9 a.m. Hawaii time, three hours earlier than when we started today. And I will see you then. Bye-bye, everybody. Aloha.